and welcome back to another vlog um i'm looking very shiny because i've just done my skincare and i've popped a lot of oil on because my skin is feeling a bit worse for wear a little bit dehydrated i've just been catching up on emily philpott's vlogs um because i've missed the last few so that's been a really nice thing to do whilst i've been doing my skincare um, and I've also got this by my side, this iced coffee. It's from Master Cafe and it's so good. It's one of their lattes. Um, but I just thought I would document because I'm going to a girl called Shan's house and she's going to be doing my lashes. So I'm very excited for that because I have felt really sort of dead and like a little boy without my eyelashes. I used to get them all the time at Lincoln. Like I got into like a cycle of getting them every... I think it was like five six weeks um and Charlene was amazing but obviously I'm now living back at home and I'm not going to travel like two hours to go get my lashes done every time so I'm really excited to see Sean and um, David knew her from sick form so she'd be really nice so I'm just about to head off now and get them done and so the next clip you'll see me I will not look like a little boy Perfect. Amazing. oh they look so good <laughs> I'm excited to like do my makeup, Literally. like doing the lashes on. It's so good. Yeah. Right, so I have just left Shan's and oh my god, it feels so nice to have some actual lashes on again. Very, very happy. Um, I'm just on my way to try and find Aiden. I think he might be going out for some food because it's like the last week of um, being able to help out and you know we want to take advantage. But yeah, thank you very much Shan for these. They literally look amazing. I'll do like a proper before and after clip um, and show you. So nice chatting. It took about an hour and 45 minutes. Hopefully you can hear me, it's very windy. Oh, I can't wait to just wake up in the morning and just not do anything to my eyes. It'll be so nice. Oh, they look so good. They, mm. You love these, like they're literally perfect. And now I just, I already feel so much more confident. So me and Aiden are just about to head to the post office and then um, we're actually following around my grandparents' house because I've got something really exciting to share with them. So Red Letter Days and Buy a Gift have um, collectively allowed me to take my grandparents for Grandparent Day. Something that I didn't even know existed on the 4th of October. It's actually Grandparents Day and they want me to sort of like advertise doing experiences and stuff with grandparents, especially since um, lockdown obviously separated families and stopped us seeing our loved ones so it's like sort of making up for lost time that's the sort of campaign and I'm really excited because I have managed to get me my nan and granddad and Aiden's gonna come with us as well to the Cotswolds I'm gonna go to the Cotswolds for a overnight stay in like a little sort of hotel spa situation for bed and breakfast um, and hopefully they're gonna really appreciate it. I know my nan in particular is someone who loves going outdoors and goes shopping and being outside. So she's really struggled during lockdown and obviously my granddad's been ill. So I feel like this will be a really nice sort of pick me up for them. And I'm gonna get Aiden to maybe vlog um, me telling them. So that's gonna be really exciting. So we're gonna quickly go to the post office, head around there and yeah, hopefully give them a really nice surprise. Do you want the good news or the bad news for us? Uh, so, bad, news bad news first. first. There is no bad news. <laughs> So the good news is that basically there's a thing called Grandparent Day. I didn't know it existed. Fourth of October, Grandparent oh, I Day. Know. Um, they do this and say anything every year. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a company that do like experiences and stuff, and they've um, I've sorted out. So me, Aiden, and you guys, we go for an overnight stay in the Cotswolds to a mm. hotel and spa. Oh. Yeah, so it, I'm gonna obviously find out when you're available. Well, we're available. I thought I thought you would get. We got I didn't, nowhere. I didn't know if you had the appointment. <laughs> no, no. But so it has to be done before the end of before the end oh, of September. I've never been to the. Have I been to the Cotswolds? No. A little overnight stay and ah. you get breakfast in the morning. Oh, so. good. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Hey. 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 <laughs> Good morning everyone. I hope you're all doing really well. 
Um, I didn't actually vlog the rest of yesterday because I was just still catching up on editing um, from all of the time that I've obviously missed with my laptop being broken so I'm like constantly editing vlogs. It feels weird because last night basically I asked on Instagram whether to merge my channels onto my main channel which is what you're seeing this on now. I've decided to get rid of my vlog channel. I'm going to obviously keep up all my vlogs on there because you know it's got literally my whole uni experience my whole uni life over on that channel um but i'm gonna start putting my vlogs all onto my main channel so it's one an easier place for everyone to sort of see and come back to rather than it there's i think it sparks a bit of confusion sometimes having two channels and like not being able to find certain videos and things um, and it also takes the pressure off me as well because i constantly feel like i have to keep both channels alive so i'm uploading like twice on my main channel um or what was my main channel and I to upload three vlogs a week and that's put in like pressure to upload five videos on two separate channels um so yeah it was getting a little bit too much so that's what decision i've had to make and everyone on instagram has pretty much agreed with me as well i think it's literally like 80 percent of people have said the same thing um so that's what i've decided to do so you're probably seeing this on my main channel now because i'll have probably made the move be way before you see this vlog i surprised my nan and granddad they were so grateful obviously didn't film the whole thing because um after i like, clipped aiden got they were really grateful that we are able to take them away i'm so excited it feels so nice to do something really special for them so now i'm getting becoming an adult i feel like i've got to give so much back more back to my family they have literally been amazing for me growing up and yeah it feels nice to be able to sort of do something that has made their day you know i have just broken my makeup bag not ideal not ideal i'm actually going out for brunch you know we're making the most out of this eat out to help out scheme it's the last week of it so i'm going out for brunch with my cousin vicky because she's starting work properly again next week at school so i want to have get a little brunch in and then this evening um me and my brother thought it'd be nice to take my family out for dinner because we don't go out that often um so yeah it's going to be a full day of eating, which is obviously not ideal. I think in between I'm going to try and do a little workout or something um, because I feel like I haven't been very active over the last week and I just want to fit in a little workout. I'm going to be using Gimondo again. I'm going to be starting a whole new course on there, I think. So that should be really fun. <laughs> Your dream, she makes it known. She's aliens, but no one knows what I oh. Do you like my outfit? Do you like my outfit? Yeah, that was a yes, a big fat yes. <laughs> so cute it's a little bit um cooler than it has been so i'm wearing a knit jumper from glamorous i think this is from their like sustainable range um wearing this little watch from mvmt it's cute um then i've got some jeans on from primark they're a really good dupe for the top shop mom jeans i actually really love primark jeans i find them really comfortable and then i'm wearing stan smith's on here and my primark clutch that i've been obsessed with and um, that's it i think yeah these earrings are also primark i feel like i'm repping a lot of primark today and it looks like i've put way more effort in than i actually have because of my lashes Right, so we had our food at Jamaica Blue and it was actually really nice. I didn't speak there because we yeah, had a bit of a problem. Our, we had our food after the wasps had a little taste. Yeah, so we got attacked by wasps basically from sitting outside. Literally, like, we are we are wimps with wasps. <laughs> but actually, like, Charlotte had about four on her pancakes at one point. Yeah, literally we, just came out the pancakes and they just, like, swarmed we, to the main We so could we're... not eat. It wasn't like there was one and you just had to bat it away. We literally, every time we went to take a bite, it was like, <laughs> boom. So we moved table. Yeah closer to the um building and they followed us didn't yeah they? they literally followed us and we were like please let us eat inside please. so eventually we got inside and we got to enjoy our dinner without the wasps it, the food was actually really good wasn't it you made your own meal didn't you yeah i had a <laughs> So I had the kids beans on toast, I wanted loads of beans. And then I had sausages and hash browns to it as well. And then you had 
I had um, blueberry pancakes with banana and maple syrup. They were really good. With um, some hash with, browns on the side. Oh yeah, I got some Which hash browns. Which I thought was that. Yeah. <laughs> I did want a bit of savoury, I think, before I had my yeah. pancakes. They were really good. And the drink, the latte. Oh, salted caramel latte. Salted caramel. Latte. Salted Recommend. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're just off to Hobby Craft using some tissue paper. Tissue paper for school. Hey, and we've got some trousers in there as well. Um, so I finished up at Brush and Lakes with Vicky and we had a little mooch around the shops and stuff. I had to get some other bits for um, my Primark campaign and things. Um, my tooth almost came out. And we've come to Costello Lounge which is like probably the only nice place to come and eat in my hometown. Like actual hometown. So here we are. Um, I've gone for a little chicken burger, surprise, surprise. Aiden Fox curry, curry, no chilli. Um, David's gone for a halloumi burger with bacon. Um, and we've also got some really cool sides, so hopefully it'll be paying, but it's really cute in here. It's sort of like cosy club vibes, like just cool, sort of old school decor. The lovely girl at Bisu Bands Co has sent over two of these gorgeous little um, headbands that she's been making. She said that she made these in Paris, I think, um, while she was stuck over there during lockdown and they are gorgeous. And I'm a sucker for a headband, especially in summer, so I'm very excited to style these. Um, they're so pretty and like intricate and it just reminds me of like holidays and being abroad. Um, Hat also sent me this postcard. She's away with her mum in Cornwall for her birthday and she sent me this postcard. So, so cute. You. I thought I'd show you a couple of other cool bits that I've been sent. So I've got these gorgeous boxes from Woxa. They're like women's boxes and they are so cosy, like the coziest things ever. Like honestly, I want these in every single colour. So I've got this gorgeous like mauve purpley pink colour and then these like creamy yellow pair gorgeous and literally so so bloody soft i wish you could all feel them um then i've got some stuff from coco and eve i've heard amazing things about this i've seen so many like youtubers and instagrammers rave about these so this is the sunny honey barley bronzing foam in the shade dark and then we've got the kabuki brush and this mitt which literally looks like the most heavenly bougie tanning mitt ever looks like it's going to be so easy to apply everything so i'm going to try this tonight when carrie gets here i completely forgot to say but carrie's actually come into tonight because we've got a very exciting weekend in Cambridge with some of the girls that we've met on Insta. But yeah, so me and Carrie are actually going to meet some of our fave people from Instagram. So we're meeting Chloe, Jess, Abby, and we were supposed to be meeting Alexa as well, but Alexa's having to quarantine now because she's just got back from Croatia. Um, and that obviously that situation means she's having to quarantine for 14 days. So we're gonna really miss Alexa. It's gonna be we're gonna meet them tomorrow, and Carrie's coming this evening, so we'll probably be like tanning together. Um, having a lovely evening so you'll see her later on in the vlog i'm currently looking disheveled but i need to pick her up soon from the station oh yeah and then a few other bits that i haven't shown in the vlogs that i've been sent in pr i just thought these are fab to tell you guys about so lilo are my favorite sex toy brand ever and they are absolute babes and sent over this package called the no pain all gain <laughs> and it made me laugh the name and it comes as like a little bundle but you can obviously buy these all individually so in this bundle if you wanted to treat your partner or something treat yourself you know so this is the sona 2 cruise sonic clitoral massager when i put this on my story yesterday i had quite a few messages saying this is amazing so thanks girls i love how um on my platforms we can be also open and chilled and talk about female pleasure because it shouldn't be a taboo um, and then this, when it came, I was like, Jesus, what's this? <laughs> thought it was some like huge fuck off massive dildo. But no, in fact, it is the all over body massager. And it's supposed to be great for like foreplay and things like that. Or even just to relax, unwind, de-stress, relax those muscles. It literally looks insane. Um, so I'm very excited to use this because I'm feeling a lot of back pain at the minute. And then they've sent over the Lilo beads plus pleasure set so it says that you can put your strength to the test with this luxurious set of six interchangeable weighted beads and um, they gently vibrate kinetically in response to your body's movements and help you gradually achieve stronger longer orgasms yeah thank you very much to brand nation and lilo for sending those over i really appreciate it and then they've also sent a diary of a sex toy tester little like short book i think but it looks so interesting so i'm very excited to give that a go I've also been in contact with this amazing brand called Beducated and I'm actually going to be doing like some work with them on Instagram um, about how sex education obviously is not very 
spoken about at schools like it's very sort of like brushed over brushed under the carpet and i think that gives people a lot of fear when they grow up it puts a lot of pressure on sex losing your virginity and um, female pleasure it gives a lot it puts a lot of taboo i think the fact the lack of education at school makes it a bigger taboo and obviously causes more complications in later in later in life and like when you become an adult and stuff so i'm working with beducated they do these amazing online courses to do with like sex pleasure orgasms really cool stuff so i'm actually working with them and doing like a course on female orgasms because i don't even know everything and it's like about my body which i think is so weird oh is that carrie yeah, I'm very excited to be working with them and I think Lilo is a great brand as well that I um, I want us to, like people to be able to come to me to talk about stuff like this without feeling like scared or um, embarrassed. I haven't shown these so I got this little package from Orly um, which most of you may know it is a very well known nail brand so Orly have sent over some gorgeous um, nail products some things for strengthening we've got this Orly Bonder I actually need to paint my nails before I go get Carrie. We've got nail trition, nail growth treatment. Something I definitely need because my nails take ages to grow. Um, and then we've got this gorgeous colour in the shade Supernova Girl. It's like a nice, like, very autumnal purple shade. And then we've got a white, which is actually probably what I'm going to paint my nails with. So I also got the positivity package, which is absolutely amazing. They've sent over the cutest little bits. Um, they always put in like an affirmations um, word search. We've got the this little desk sign. Thank God I'm fabulous. So cute. I am enough um, face mask. So, so cute. Just good vibes all around. We've got a little magnet, an affirmations magnet, a little ring. We've got some sweets in there. I've ate the cookie that says I am sweet um, and then I've got some really cool prints over here I'll leave the Instagram brands on the screen so you can see but look how cool some of these are so cool absolutely love them really unique cool things that are definitely gonna um, fit in perfectly on my walls <laughs> so I've just gone to grab Carrie and we have a bit of a story time for you. Mm -hmm. Ready? So. <laughs> <clears throat> so, basically the plan was we we're going to meet in Toaster mm -hmm. because it's kind of in the middle. And I was going to get a lift off of my friend because basically there's no good transport links between us, is there? So I was good old Emra that everyone, everyone has everyone picked up Everyone, definitely don't know him <laughs> because you all left questions about him in the say I shot it. <laughs> Good at my best friend, we've known each other for years. For reference, not my boyfriend. And he's like, yeah, I'll give you a lift, no worries. It's like half an hour from me, so like, he's always like an hour journey, so it was very nice of him. I was like paying for petrol. Okay. We're driving along, not too far. I'd say we've done about 20 minutes of the journey, mm. not too far off the destination. It's chucking it down, you know, we're driving nice and safe. Oh yeah, it's safe. pissing it down. Like my windscreen wipers are like this. Mm -hmm. I'm barely able to see in front. I don't really know what happened, but I'm not sure if we like aqua planes or just scared or I don't know if the wits have happened. To, I don't know. It's a question because it will happen too quick. But we like basically we come up to Ranra and we like kind of skidded across the road and hit the club and then we were like oh like, it was quite you know dramatic and we we're like oh my god and then we thought we were gonna be okay <laughs> so like we went we tried to we got out of the car to see which was hard anyway because we're on a roundabout we didn't want to crash into it so hazards were on went round and like the wheel trim had come off but we thought that was just it and that was just like grated against the and we we're like ah oh, not the end of the world but it turns out that the, the wire the wheel had sort of disengaged from the car it wasn't moving spinning <laughs> nothing no movement going on there so we were wheeled down so we couldn't drive and then we had to it's, ch it's chucking it down it's pouring from the sky. and obviously i'm driving from the other direction to meet carrie and emma in the middle so I'm like just going along, mm -hmm. going along, and I get this little text whilst I'm on my sat nav, like on my phone. It's like we've crap, like okay, we've, we've just crashed. And I was thinking, oh, what? And then it came up saying seriously, and I thought, oh god. Because <laughs> so, I would, not I thought I'm gonna have to like that, but like, I just thought you would just think I'm just talking about something else. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like the website's crashed or something. And I was like, so I sent a picture, and then um. And obviously I was driving, so I couldn't stop. So I had to wait until I got to our destination. McDonald's. <laughs> which was McDonald's. <laughs> and Emma and Charlotte were finally going to meet. I was so excited. And um, basically, I had to get away from the car because it was like in the middle of the road. It was about to turn to a roundabout. So obviously we might get hit and we couldn't push it between us. So we had to leave it there. I had to go like stand on the side of the road. And it's torrentially raining. My dad, before I left, because it was raining, was like, are you going to take a coat? And I was like... <laughs> 
no and he's like what if you break down and i was like he's like do you want to take mum's rain jacket i was like no my mum's rain jacket's fucking horrible <laughs> i was like no sorry lorette and i'm stood there on the side of the road my hair is you know i'm looking like a drowned rat my top's like stuck to me all my je denim jeans are absorbing so much i mean i'm getting heavier with the absorption of water in this little cardigan this thin cardigan <laughs> thinking what the fuck did i bring the rain jacket and then to make matters even better we had barely any signal like it was breaking up while emma was trying to phone like his mum in the aa also i had like four percent battery <laughs> and he had like six so I get to the car, I get to the destination mm. McDonald's car park and I'm like, right, let's FaceTime, see what's going on. And Carrie's like, makeup's all down her face. Because it's, it's, it's actually hitting my eyes. My phone's yeah. not working. It's, I thought you'd so been like, I thought you, obviously I knew it was raining as well, mm. but I thought you'd been like crying your eyes out. I was like, oh God, like what's going to happen mm. next? But luckily when you, Emra sent the location or you mm. did on Emra's phone. You did because I couldn't watch And um, it. Was, it said like seven minutes away and I was like, oh, at least they're not too far. Like, and I can get to them quickly. Mm. So then I'm on the side of the road and this lovely, quite attractive man <laughs> drives along with his like car. Loads of people stopped actually, it's really like humbling, you realise how nice people are. Mm. It didn't help, but it was, I think everyone's thinking, oh my god, what a time to break down. Look at them stood in the rain, she's literally drenched through. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of vibes. She's fucked. Kind of vibes, oh, do you want a jacket? And I was like, no, honestly. I was Don't like, worry. thank you so much. No, no, I feel bad. And he was like, no, seriously, I've got a few like waterproof jackets in the back. But we <laughs> feel like some kind of like construction kind of vibe is what mm. I got like. And I was like, no, no, no. He was like, seriously, you should just, just have one. And just I was like, one. okay, thank you so much. And he got out and Go it's, it's a coat. Modular. A cute, a bit filthy, kind of but vibe. very cute. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Quite well, like it. It's like a thick coat. I think it'd be one of those things I should keep. Yeah. Have it in like my car as a breakdown jacket. And then yeah. Maybe pass it on. Yeah. Wow. Aww. And start writing like your name in it, like. <laughs> yeah, sign it once Carrie you have right now. So then he gave me his jacket and went off. God bless him. Guys. Oh, and then some guy. Oh, some guys. God, some, some guys. Great. All in all, it was an awful experience, but the guys involved <laughs> in this experience were fine. <laughs> These men, young men, <laughs> strapping up. They were. These really gorgeous men stopped. And they're like, oh yeah, like we've got some manpower in the back. I was like, <laughs> like, do you want us to like, help you put it over? And I was like, oh. and everyone's like, oh yeah, no, thanks, thanks guys. Like, and I was there, like, <laughs> like, with my dripping wet hair, like, I'm trying to look pretty. <laughs> I was like, I was going for like, damsel distress, but like, it's fine. Yeah, it's really stressful experience. Um, and they all are, oh God, they were like, got their number. they were like, like, oh, thanks guys. Like, and it was like, all wet. And I kind of like, well, like, full of <laughs> And they were like, pushing you, their bodies are like, kind of like, vertical. <laughs> like, down, it's like, so I'm there on the side of the road, like, with my high vis jacket on, <laughs> watching these. Oh, and like some of them were trying to like, kind of like almost pick the car, and this, the wheel, the problem wheel was just going <laughs> across the, because it wasn't turning, yeah. so they couldn't even push it properly. Bruh. It was mesmerizing though, all in all. Um, and then they're like, yeah, you're good luck, guys, and stuff. And I was like, here we are. Here we are. Here I'm we are. I'm putting my makeup on, and I'm ready to go get a work of mama. So yeah, we're going to go get a work of mama, and I'm this is your, Emma. yeah, this is your warning. To drive slow in the but rain. We not, oh, no, no. We no. were driving so slow. Yeah, no, I'm not saying thing. they weren't, but I'm just saying, like, just be careful in the rain because you never know what's around mm. the corner. But we That's still what... don't know why it happened because we don't know if it's just because yeah. it's wet, but we were going, like, because we were coming to a roundabout, we are going so slow, but. Yeah. Mm. Just don't drive in the rain. That's my reminder. If you if you can help and it, the worst don't is drive I feel so bad because he shouldn't have even been there. Like, yeah. he was just giving me a lift and now his car's fucked. Next time, but, like, like fun can... things on little pieces of Emra and like love heart and like confetti. Yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you love Emra and the fact yeah. that he destroyed his car to get me here. Yeah. To to donate to Emra. Come on. Everybody. Come on. I just don't know why everyone's all clapping. <laughs> I hope you clap with us at home. Okay, right. It, my so stomach is concaving. Do you my really nice time? from Zara. Yeah. My stomach is concaving, so can we go get our food? I'm so hungry. Hello. Hello, Hello. everyone. We're all full up on Wagamama's. Yeah, I didn't vlog in there. Purely just, you know, it's was present in the moment. I can insert a picture of my, oh, actually, no, you'll regret that. I hate, do you hate it when you see you'll insert a picture and you're like, yeah. No, Carrie tried a new meal. I'll show you. And she said it was I went for the good. what? The Stay teriyaki soba. 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 Um, and it was. We're both the same style of noodle. Like I, my 
ramen has soba noodles and they're my favourite. In all of its glory. All of its glory there. Hi. Blurry. I right, so I completely forgot to end last night's vlog because me and Carrie were busy working on this weekend's launch for consistency and I literally just forget forgot about picking up the camera as I always do when we're doing consistency stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little vlog. I don't really know what happened over the past few days, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure to hit the thumbs up if you did, subscribe down below if you're new and go check out Carrie's channel. So we'll see you soon for another video. Woohoo!